if my voice was visible, it would have three colors, red, blue, and green, or precisely, a mixture of them. Cream-colored apricot, like that of Persian blinds, 그녀의 양보를 살구빛으로 물들이고, bright scarlet red, blooming as bright as sparks from a bonfire, 그녀의 심장을 마치 쉼없이 펄럭이는 벌새의 날개처럼 요동치게 한다. Pale Celeste Palito, reminiscent of icicles on a frosty morning, 如断线珍珠般落下, Deep Sapphire Blue, of the rotating rim of the Milky Way galaxy, 严谨地封闭了他的情感之门. When my mouth opens, the tip of my tongue selects prudently from a full color palette of blended hues. Each strokes layer on top of another, painting a picture showing that the three colors are indivisible, and when they combine, a silver of white light shines and makes myself visible. My name is Kelly Yu. My given name is Yu Ye Sao, and I also have a Chinese name, which is Liu Xu. I was born in Korea, but I spent most of my childhood in China. I transferred to seven different schools, Korean school, Chinese school, British and American international schools. And I can communicate in three different languages. I am a trilingual, and I am a third culture kid. The moment when my English teacher stood awkwardly in the doorway as I greet her with a deep bow. The moment when the teacher singles me out for sitting cross-legged, which is considered unacceptable to Chinese teachers. The moment when you sit down one day to do your what's your identity assignment and realize you don't really know where you truly belong or who you truly are. Throughout my childhood, I've been immersed in multiple cultures, which certainly have been a good thing and a bad thing. We've probably all heard about that number one difficulty that every TCK has faced, that nagging sense of rootlessness. What does being rootless mean? Simple, you don't know where you come from. When someone asks um, you, where are you from? Most TCKs find it hard to give an accurate explanation Whereas if someone asks me where I'm from, I answer, I'm from Korea, right off the bat. Maybe the stress from answering the question, where are you from, does not apply to every third culture individual. I considered this for a while, until I realized that every time I go back to Korea during vacations, it never feels like I'm going back to my real home. Instead, it feels like I'm going on a trip. And that's what all my excitement and thrill was about on the night before getting on the plane. Isn't that odd? Surprisingly, a lot of my friends, especially those from international schools, can't help but feel the same way as I do. While we do feel intensely connected to our home countries, we don't necessarily feel that we belong to any single culture. We're living between cultures. That's probably the best way to put it. And by virtue of these experiences, I develop the ability to easily adapt to new situations. In fact, the book Writing Out of Limbo by Jean Belvelada describes TCKs like this. These kids are chameleons, adept at taking on the colors of each new environment they're plunged into. It is true, though. Whenever I settle into a new place, I change the color of my voice, the color of my clothes, and the color of my personality. Back when I used to practice ballet in Beijing, believe it or not, I used to wear blue glitter eyeshadow every day to school. But it didn't feel wrong because most people at our school had fancy outfits and makeup on for all kinds of dance performances. However, personally, I disagree with TCKs being compared to chameleons, not because I don't like the animal, but because the comparison is missing a few key points. Chameleons are animals with the special ability to change their skin color due to a special layer of cells within their skin. They were born with these features. TCKs weren't. We weren't born to be good at adapting to new situations. It definitely wasn't easy at first. It took us a lot of effort 
and we've gone through a lot of culture shocks. When I first entered the local school in Beijing, I was shocked by how strict the rules were. We were not allowed to cross our legs, no calling out answers in class, and we had to raise our hands in a certain fashion. Straight back, arms folded on the desk, and one forearm raised straight in the air. A year later, I moved to an international school for the first time, and having classes while sitting and lying on the floor was really a fresh shock. <laughs> Another flaw in this chameleon metaphor is the notion of hiding ourselves completely in order to avoid being noticed. This touches on the second main challenge of being a TCK, my inability to switch off my cultural radar. Checking to make sure if my behavior is culturally appropriate became a daily routine. Wait, did I remember to not leave my chopsticks stood upright in my food as it symbolizes death? Wait a minute, did I just, did I remember to use my own chopsticks? I mean, did I just use my own chopsticks to take the food to dishes? Or did I remember to use the serving chopsticks or ladles instead? Did I manage to stop myself from taking the last pieces from the serving tray as that may show my lack of consideration for others? Therefore, in the end, TCKs may adopt so many personas. Every time we move, we leave our old self behind and create a new one to fit and conform with the rest of the community. Adapting may sound like an amazing skill, but it becomes a problem if it continues to act as a camouflage. It is certainly right to adjust how we dress, behave, and talk based on the situation. These are different protocols of etiquette that shows our respect and understanding for others. However, as we make these changes to ourselves, we often stop being authentic. We become hidden in the crowd. We become invisible. We become nobody who belongs to nowhere. Think about that for a moment. Nobody wants to be nobody. We all want to be visible. And in order to be visible, I suggest in the future, instead of creating your new self, try to find your true self. Don't simply mix your colors to match the colors that everybody else wants. Blend those colors to find the one that fits you first, then the surrounding. Adapt just enough and be authentic. So what are your colors that make you visible? Thank you.